Having a schedule appointment with Dr. Mayo or Dr. Ship. Runner goes. The pitch is grounded to the shortstop. Robinson. He flips to Golson for one. Now to second. Double play. Bortles. Swung on. That's hitting the right center gap in his trouble. On a run is Robson and Dickerson both chasing it down. It goes all the way to the wall. Bortles will pull up at second with a stand-up double into the oppo gap. And a pitch. Swung on. Hit the center field. Center fielder Robson may be burned. Can he get there? It's over his head and against the wall. This will score both runs. Here comes the throw to the plate on the second one, and Orvis is safe, and Errol Robinson took him to the house. Six in the two games. The 0-1 swung on, ground ball left side, over the third baseman and into left field. Rounding third is Robinson. Here comes the throw to the plate, and he's safe. And the second base goes Perkins, and over the third comes Robinson. Nick Perkins with his second RBI of the season, and Ole Miss leads three to nothing. Singles and two RBIs, hit a home run in the second game. This one's hit up the middle, off the glove of Laster, picked up by the second baseman. He'll throw. He made it look close because Orvis is not real, real fast. One hop scoop by Wes Ray, but not in time. Orvis is going to reach on a base hit. Game one of the three-game series. The 2-0 swung on, fly ball, left field. That may be trouble for Humphreys. He's burned. you got to be kidding me. Al Robinson said, you better respect me. Double. Rebels lead 4-3 as Watson steps on the plate. Checks the runner and fires. Breaking ball grounded toward Robinson. He'll glove, flip the second. That's it as Kyle Watson playing second base takes the throw. And the Ole Miss Rebels have knocked off the Bulldogs in game one, four to three. And that's the way this is going to be for the next two days. What a series we're in for. Yeah, boy, both teams have the big three run innings. The Rebels get the big run in the eighth. And boy, that was an excellent, excellent ball game and one the Rebels needed to get. Okay. No runs. No hits, no errors, and one man left as Ole Miss wins by a final score of four to three. And Ole Miss improves to 26 and 24 on the year, 12 and 13 in the SEC.